Hey guys, Dr. Seamus Allen here, and I am so excited in this video presentation to be breaking down here what the proper and preferred teen acne diet is. And I'm really excited about this. This is something I really wish I had access to as a teenager, and it can be really tough knowing what to eat, what not to eat. And so I'm going to be cutting through the noise and really breaking down a really good, healthy, proper anti-inflammatory protocol to start clearing up teen and young adult acne. Now, as we dive in here, I'm going to be starting off with the core four that we want to avoid. Okay, four inflammatory food categories that we're going to want to eliminate as best as possible to start to clear up the skin. So let's dive into number one here is refined grains. The reason for this is the refined grain has been the brand and the germ are taken out and we're left with this starchy endosperm that really doesn't have any nutritive value. And so it's really devoid of a lot of fiber or vitamins, minerals. And so it's an empty source of calories and it can really feed candida and yeast unhealthily. And so we don't want any refined grains. Number two is conventional dairy. Now, not all dairy is bad, but when it's conventional, the cows have been treated with RBST, this growth hormone, or the cows have been injected with antibiotics or the antibiotics are given to them in their feed. And those can subsequently get into human beings and cause inflammation and wreak havoc on the skin. Number three, hydrogenated oils or industrial seed oils. We want to really avoid these types of vegetable oils that throw off the healthy omega-6, omega-3 balance and ratio in the body. And so things like canola and safflower, sunflower, soybean, cottonseed, corn, uh, as I mentioned, canola. These are going to be things that are just going to proliferate and promote more inflammation and really bog down the cells with toxicity. So we want to avoid these. I recommend things uh, to stick to avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, and more coconut oil. And then the fourth core, fourth thing, we're going to want to avoid artificial sugars. We know that pastries and sweets and things of this nature and pop soda are going to just really feed, again, kind of like the refined grains, the candida, the yeast, and bad bacteria, and cause what's called a dysbiosis in the gut where there are too many bad bugs compared to the good ones. So these are four things we want to avoid. And let's talk about now some of the proper things we want to implement. <clears throat> and this next one will come as no surprise, but we want a good foundation of healthy vegetables and especially cruciferous vegetables and things like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, things that are going to initiate these liver detoxification enzymes to get pollutants out of the body. We also want fruit intake, moderate fruit intake, and especially berries and things like pears as well. But I love berries for their fiber content and high antioxidant value as well to help really neutralize free radicals in the body. <clears throat> And we also want to look at fermented foods. Now, these are foods that are going to colonize the colon with beneficial and healthy bacteria. And so these are going to be foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurt, kvass, uh, kombucha, tempeh, and things that are going to have a probiotic element which can actually start to eliminate some of the bad species and recolonize and repopulate the gut with healthy microorganisms and healthy gut bugs. All right, now let's talk about some carbohydrate options. Now, carbs are not evil. They're not bad. They can have their place absolutely. And I have a picture here of sweet potatoes, the vitamin A content, great for epithelial and skin health and the beta carotene specifically. Um, but even things like wild rice, buckwheat, gluten-free oats, squash, these are going to be great options that are going to promote good skin health and uh, can even be fine with insulin sensitivity and that kind of thing. Now, the next thing, let's talk about some healthy fat options. So vital, so important, not only for the gut, but even for brain health, skin, hair, nails. So avocados, chia seeds, flax seeds, organic eggs, you know, fatty fish like salmon. Um, but these coconut oil, coconut products, these are going to be really healthy, beneficial fat options that must be in the diet. And then also protein things. So lean and clean options, organic turkey and chicken, grass-fed beef, and of course, wild-caught salmon, 
tempeh. These are going to be great protein sources. Even pulses and legumes and beans, lentils, things like that are going to be good here as well. Now, I included bone broth in here. This is incredibly nourishing to the gut. The lining of the gut um, has things like proline, glycine, and these amino acids that are very nourishing and healthful to the gut. So even just sipping, sipping on a good organic bone broth is really going to do wonders for the gut and to start to cleanse things and heal things there because we know that the gut skin axis, there is a direct affiliation and correlation there. And so anything negative going on in the gut can manifest and show on the skin. And so the skin is really a reflection of what's going on internally. So we really want to optimize gut health and bone broth is a great way to go. And then of course, just adequate hydration. So, you know, we've heard so many different things about half your body weight in ounces or eight cups of eight ounces a day or whatever. I recommend about, you know, hydrating to the point where urine is between clear to light yellow, somewhere in that window, just to adequately allow the body to have proper fluid intake so the cells are functioning at their optimum and that we know water is so vital for not only skin health, but a plethora of metabolic activity in the body. And so we need to be adequately hydrating. So shoot for somewhere where the urine color, the urochrome is between clear to light yellow. Now, if you want a little more information, I have a diet guide in the description below. This is a free downloadable PDF where you can navigate there and get more of a tangible hands-on diet guide, but I hope this was beneficial in this video. I wanted to break down some of the top points and some of the top keys to keep in mind when trying to put teen acne behind you and start to cleanse and heal the skin from the inside out. Hey guys, this has been Dr. Seamus Allen. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day.